Hey guys, this is Matt from QTE Manufacturing. We're back doing part three of our series. In this video, we are gonna be going through changing a regular manual program into a CMM automated program. So this is gonna be a quick lesson on swapping, adding paths, and we're gonna get into it right now. So first thing we're gonna do is in the auto align, we are going to do a three point alignment and the rest of the seven points are going to be automated through the CMM. We can also do a single point alignment. And in that case, you would just have to make sure that your part is exactly set up as the CMM is. So we got X and Y. And then over here, I got my X and Y going the same exact way. So if we were to do a single point, it takes that point as zero, 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 perfect. And then it will go around and it will take the rest of the points for you in an automated program. But for this case, we're just gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna do make three of these points. These three are gonna stay as manual points. So we're gonna take those. And then from here, we'll grab all three of these or four of these and right click, change measure settings and it's gonna be automated. So now you can see there's a path. And we can see that everything is gonna clear. So we are good. And then from here, we're just gonna start adding paths to all these entities and features. So here, all we have to do is do generate path. And we can take a look at this path and see how it looks. So this looks pretty good. You wanna keep it right around the center for the pH 20 to do a nice flick. The more you change this, if we make this smaller, now that's more movement. So that's gonna slow down our, it's gonna slow down our program. We want it right about in the center. So that's good right there, about 600 on the height. So we'll save that program now. So from there, we're gonna go and do the circle. That's already done. That's created from our eight circles, the slot. So we're gonna right click, generate path. 60,000 the depth, that's good. Six points. We can just do five points, is fine. And then CMM settings, we're gonna do WCS plane two. That's the one we created. Okay. Same thing over here, right click, generate path, do nine points, WCS. We don't need to be so high on the height. We can just go half inch, okay. Let's double check our slot. We're good. Now we can do our lines. We're gonna window all four lines at the same time. We're gonna right click, generate path. Two points is good. Check our heights. WCS is set, half inch is good. Okay, the only thing on the lines is we gotta double check that they're all projected the right way. So this one is, needs to come down a little bit. We're gonna double click on the path or right click, generate path, and we're gonna change our depth right here. And on this one, our normal is going the opposite way, so we gotta come down 100 thou. Here. So this one is facing the wrong way. We're gonna go in here, right click, generate path, and we're going the left side of the line. And same thing, we're gonna have to bring this down. So we can visually see it's gonna take good measurements in there. Okay, line three. Line three, we gotta bring it down a little bit. Right click, generate path. We'll go 100 thou. Okay, line four, looks like it is good to go. So we don't need to edit anything there. On our surface, there's already a path because we created that for when we did our arm. So we're just gonna have to go in here and change our measure settings to automated. Follow sequence. Okay. So now that path is generated. So from here, everything is ready to go. This, that's all you need to change to do a, uh, from an arm program into a CMM program. So catch us on the next episode. We're gonna go through and let the CMM run the program. And then other than that, if you have any other questions, comments, you can reach us on qtemfg.com or you can just send us an email. Have a good one. Thanks.